Welcome to this Deep Lizard series where we deliver bite-sized, practical, and intuitive explanations for the most common terms and concepts in the field of deep learning. I'm Mandy, and today's topic is machine learning. Machine learning, often abbreviated simply as ML, is a subfield of the more broad field of artificial intelligence. The field of machine learning uses algorithms that analyze data and then learn from that data to make predictions or determinations about new data. The key distinction of machine learning algorithms as opposed to non-machine learning algorithms is that they learn from the data. With a traditional programming approach, a developer might write code that contains a set of explicit instructions for what it wants the machine to do or execute given some certain criteria. With machine learning, on the other hand, the machine is instead trained using data and algorithms that give it the ability to learn from the data and make a determination about how to perform this specific task given what it learns. So in other words, the machine learns how to do a given task rather than being given explicit instructions telling it exactly how to do so. So let's think about a simple example where we can contrast a traditional programming approach to a machine learning approach to doing a certain task. Suppose our task is to classify articles from a given health magazine to be either about diet or about exercise. A traditional programming approach might be to make a list that contains words that we think are more diet oriented or more exercise oriented. So we could have a program that goes through an article, counts up all of the words that fall into the diet category and all of the words that fall into the exercise category and compare whichever category has the higher word count is what the article will be labeled as. And remember, these words have been chosen by the developer. Now, on the other hand, we have a machine learning approach, which we've outlined here with this pseudocode example. As a machine learning approach to the same task, we might supply a learning algorithm with a data set of articles that have been labeled as either being diet or exercise articles. So here we just have a few examples where we have this first article that has some text that says whole grains are a great source of fiber. And this article has been labeled as a diet article. On the other hand, we have some other articles like this one that has the text squats activate the quads. And this article has been labeled as exercise. So we pass this data with the corresponding labels to the learning algorithm. And during some training process, the learning algorithm will learn what about these articles make them be associated with diet versus exercise. With what the learning algorithm has learned from this label data set, it will be able to make inferences about new articles in the future and classify these new articles as being either about diet or exercise, even though it was never given explicit instructions on how to do this classification. Instead, it has learned the features of the text in these articles to identify what it is about this text that make articles more identifiable as diet or exercise articles. Now, we've talked about learning algorithms in general, but within the field of machine learning, we have several different types of machine learning algorithms. Now, these algorithms are some of the most common ML algorithms like regression, decision trees, SVMs, naive Bayes classifiers, k nearest neighbor, and artificial neural networks. Now, actually, artificial neural networks fall into the subcategory of machine learning called deep learning, and we'll be focusing on artificial neural networks a lot in this series. 